This is part two of a three-part series where we will be installing the oil pump as well as the front cover and seal. All right, guys, now I'm gonna install my oil pump. GM Performance, made in the USA. Basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I install it. Basically, what we do here is we just slide it on, get the key in. However, you can get it again. Now, the first time I went to go put this on, I don't want to lie to you guys, my trusty little dampener we put on here basically had these aluminum spacers in there and it was hitting the pump. Remove the spacers, put the Allens in, it holds nice and tight, red Loctite, everything. So, moving on, we're gonna put these in hand tight. And once we do that, I'm gonna go grab the Torx. I don't know, I think it's like a T40 or 45. I'm actually gonna remove this cover. I don't want you guys to think I'm putting it on dry. So let me run these down real quick. So what we're going to do, I don't like doing anything dry and like I said in the past, I like a lot of lube. Nice and wet. Now, there's a lot of talk. Oh yeah, see how that spins now? There's a lot of talk about, do you shim your oil pump or do you not? I've seen guys make these things look like porcupines with a bunch of shims sticking out. I've seen guys not shim them at all. I think the guy's name was Bo from Bo Duke or something. All right guys, after putting on the oil pump, leaving all the hardware loose, putting the actual pump in and lubing it with assembly lube to the nine. Now I take, I don't know if I can zoom in on this, 0025. So, 25 thousandths, I believe. I'm not a mathematician, don't, don't quote me on it. But basically, what I do is, see how I, I slid it to the top right there? Alright guys, so basically I take those feeler gauges and slide them top and bottom long ways. Basically, I don't know if you can see this from where, but basically I have top and bottom, it's, I'm going to say I have about 70% of it covered here. Only where it's missing is in the open areas here. I'm going to tell you that I would say it's pretty damn shimmed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run these bolts down and then torque them to spec. Now I'm gonna torque down to nine foot-pounds first and then move up to 18 foot-pounds. All right, now that we got this thing torqued down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out the shims, put the cover back on, run those back down. We're gonna flop this block upside down so we can do the cover and align it for the oil pan.
All right, guys. So now I've flopped the motor over. I'm getting ready to put the front cover on. I got one of these trusty alignment tools. I don't know if I got it from Summit or Jags or one of those, but basically it came with all of my alignment tools for the front and rear cover, as well as this. So what I do is I just kind of leave it loose. I get it snugged up a little bit, but. There where I can still kind of move it around a little bit. Get everything nicely aligned. All right, guys. Now that I got the, I'm gonna say alignment tool up here. I'm gonna say, I, I might do this differently than most, but the thing is, is what, how I've done it in the past, it works. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. Everyone seems to kind of have their own way of doing it. But basically, I think, I think you guys have known, I like uh, Felpro gaskets. Not sponsored by them, but I should be, because I promote them. So basically, I line this up, just like this, get these started. Okay, now that I've run them all pretty much up, you can see it's still loose. The tool I got, basically I can throw these in as well. Alright guys, well, now I take a little bit of assembly lube, take it on my alignment tool. A lot of people don't do this kind of stuff, but I don't like oil leaks, so basically I'm just gonna wiggle that all in. And now I literally can run everything down to where it's snug. All right guys, now basically, like always, gonna, gonna torque it down to nine foot pounds and then doubling it to 18. Crisscross all the way up. All right guys, now I'm gonna use a little bit of ultra black. Put it on this front cover seal, crank seal. I just put a light coat. Some people says it helps guide it on. You can drop it too, but I think I got plenty on here. Basically, what I think it does is it seals it, helps it. that grab my alignment tool and it's flush all the way and then I wipe off whatever has come off and it adds like a ceiling area perfect Okay guys, that concludes part two. Look forward to part three of basically closing up the bottom end of this motor. Like, subscribe, and thank you for viewing.